Hello everyone. Welcome to the part four of Terraform on AWS Lab series. In this video, we will talk about how you can break up the Terraform configuration into multiple files. This video is produced by Cloud Yeti. Cloud Yeti is based in the Washington DC metro area and uh, we provide consulting and training on cloud computing and DevOps. My name is Saurav Sharma and I will be the presenter for this video. All right, now let's get started. So we are back here in our AWS Labs repo. And inside the AWS Labs repo, we have the Terraform AWS folder. Now I'll be providing you with the link for this repo. And you can also check out our previous videos on YouTube. We have three Terraform videos on YouTube so far, and this is the fourth one. In this repo, this lesson is under lesson three, root module multiple TF files. So if you click on this folder, you'll see all the files required for this lesson and also some notes for this uh, lesson. So let's quickly look at some of the notes we have for this lesson. And before we begin anything, I wanna mention that Terraform is coming out with version 0.12, which is about to be released soon. And if you look at here, I got this line from the Terraform documentation. Terraform 0.12 will be a major release focused on configuration language improvements, and thus will provide some changes that you'll need to consider when upgrading. So for now, we you know won't worry about this. We'll just stick with how Terraform works as of now. I just wanted to make you aware of this change uh, that's happening very soon. So this lesson is gonna be a short one. And the main point that I wanna make in this lesson is how you can arrange your Terraform configuration into multiple TF files and make your workflow easier. Let's look at what I mean by that. In our previous lessons, right, lesson one and lesson two, we only had one TF file in the working directory when we called the Terraform init and Terraform apply command. But instead of having one TF file that contains everything, right, if I have a Terraform uh, file that contains the provider information, you know, the resource, EC2, um, and security group, you know, that's fine, right? But what you can also do is you can put the EC2 instance in one file, the security group in one file, and the provider in another file. So right here I've said, what if this is a file called provider.tf? What if this block is in a file called ec2.tf and this block is in a file called sg.tf? When you use the command terraform apply, terraform will look at all the uh, .tf files in alphabetical order and all the configuration will be looked at and applied. So instead of having everything in one file like this, you can have multiple files. And I personally think, you know, this is easier to work with. And I really like working with multiple smaller files instead of just having a huge uh, file that with everything. And in this example, I only have this much configuration, but what if you had, you know, 50 EC2 instances and security groups, RDS, uh, instances and you know s3 buckets a lot of the things um, so breaking up makes things very easy now one other thing look at the top of this file right I have my provider information in here normally what you do is you pr put provider information in a separate file and then for example when committing to github or a repository online you ignore this provider file, right? So you can also do those kind of things when you break up one file into multiple files. When committing to GitHub, you can say ignore provider.tf. And there are other ways to set up the access key and secret access key, which we will talk in our future lessons. But for now, you know, if you were using uh, this syntax to set up your AWS uh, access keys, then you could actually separate this block into a file called 
provider.tf. And a quick point, compare this to CloudFormation. CloudFormation is also similar to Terraform and CloudFormation lets you write templates to provision stacks or resources on AWS. So CloudFormation has a concept called nested stack. So if you want to include something from another file, you have to use nested stacks. I personally think Terraform has this way easier and integrating multiple files is very easy compared to CloudFormation. So this is one quick comparison between CloudFormation and Terraform. All right, so that's all for this lesson. So let's go to our terminal and let's demo this. Here are the files that I'll be using. So in when I go to my terminal, I'll have these files and also a folder. And in this folder called all-in-one, here is a template which contains all of the configuration that we have in these individual files, right? So ec2.tf, sg.tf and provider.tf. So let me go to my terminal now. So I'm here in my terminal and in this directory that I'm in, I have ec2.tf, provider.tf and sg.tf. I also have readme.md, but Terraform won't look at that file when we use Terraform apply command. So what happens when I say Terraform init Terraform will initialize this working directory. And you also have to make a note that Terraform will only look at files in this directory, right? Only in this directory. It won't look into all in one folder or directory, right? It will only look at the current directory and it won't go and look into the directory inside of this directory. So when I apply these configuration with the command terraform apply, it will ask me to confirm and I say yes. What happens is whatever I have in the all-in-one folder won't matter because terraform will not look into this folder. Terraform will only apply ec2.tf, provider.tf, and sg.tf. So my EC2 instance is creating. Let's go to our AWS management console and see what's up. And I can see that there is one instance running. If I go back to my terminal, I can see that the process was completed. Two resources were added zero change and now if you look at my files you know the configuration on this file was applied and this file was applied and also this file was applied so as you can see you can break your terraform files into um, you know multiple files uh, smaller pieces smaller code so that things are manageable now Let's quickly destroy this Terraform stack of resources with the command Terraform destroy. And what we'll do after this, after I confirm, is we'll apply the all-in-one template again. And, you know, basically the same thing will happen because that all-in-one.tf file has all the configuration that the individual files here have. So let's give this destroy process a few more seconds and the destroy is complete. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the all-in-one folder right here with the command cd all-in-one and here I only have one tf file with the EC2 instance with security group and also the provider information. And make sure you have your access key and secret access key here. I have it commented out because I have set up my keys in a different way 
we will talk about this different way in our future videos but for now make sure if you're getting an error when applying uh, these configurations you probably don't have the access key and secret access key set so what I'm gonna do now is say terraform apply aha so what happened here when you want to apply terraform configuration in a new folder right right now I'm in this folder called all-in-one I only initialized terraform when I was in the lesson 3 root module folder now when I go into a new folder I have to initialize terraform again so this error is because you know I haven't initialized terraform so if I say terraform in it inside the all-in-one folder this will initialize terraform in this folder and then only I can use the command terraform apply it is asking me do you want to perform these actions I'm gonna say yes let's give this a few more seconds and in the meantime I'll go to my AWS management console click on running instance and I see there is another instance running and this instance was terminated by Terraform just a while ago if you remember we applied and destroyed a stack and this EC2 instance is created with all-in-one.tf so this is creating let me go back to my terminal apply is complete two added zero changed and zero destroyed now before we end this lab let's destroy the resources that we have created and the command for that will be terraform destroy now I want to show you a small thing that you can use to you know make things easier right if you know that you're gonna destroy this uh, terraform stack then instead of terraform asking you know do you want to really destroy and you typing yes you can also say auto approve and this way terraform will not ask you for a yes or no and it will just go straight and destroy the resources that it created so sometimes you know including this is helpful but also you have to use this with extreme caution because sometimes by mistake without confirming you know your stack is deleted so use this with caution but I think uh, while doing testing this command is very helpful now destroy is complete and that is it you know this file was used all in one tf was used to create our terraform resources and if I go back one folder earlier we used ec2.tf, sg.tf and provider.tf to accomplish the same thing so I hope this gives you an idea of how things work with Terraform and how you can break a big Terraform configuration file into multiple TF files with that we've come to the end of this lesson if you have any questions about this lesson please put them in the comment section below if you have any feedback for us please let us know we'll be adding more Terraform lessons in the future thank you so much for watching see you in the next lesson